Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Football Betting Series here on YouTube UEFA Edition. Our Champions League record stands at 10 wins, 3 defeats with 1 push for a total profit of £94. Adding that to our domestic data and we're sitting at a record of 53 wins, 17 losses and 8 pushes and a total series profit of £395.60. A quick disclaimer before we get into today's picks. At the time of recording a lot of the odds weren't released for the UEFA competitions so I have speculated as to what these odds might come out to and at the end of the video they will be highlighted in yellow. Without further ado let's get into it. Our first selection sees 36th place Slovan versus 22nd place Dinamo Zagreb and Slovan they were best in their previous Champions League match away to Girona. The scoreline of 2-0 does betray just how easy it was for the Spanish side. They won in every single match winning predictor statistic and that was with a rotated side as well. In terms of form, this does mean that Slovan have lost all three of their games with a total aggregate score of 11 to 1. But Dinamo Zagreb do represent an opposition where they are hoping to get some points as we reach the halfway point of this league stage. Speaking of Dinamo, they picked up their first win of the competition in their last match against RB Salzburg. After an evenly contested first half, Zagreb took charge of the game in the second period. This was helped in large part by the sending off of Alexander Schlager in the Salzburg goal. In terms of form, as mentioned earlier, this result did mark Zagreb's first win of the Champions League season. Adding this to a 2-2 draw against Monaco and Zagreb are sitting on a nice two-game unbeaten streak. Zagreb fans will thank me for not mentioning the 9-2 battering against Bayern Munich on match day one. In terms of head-to-head -head record, I couldn't find anything of note, so straight on to the prediction. And that is that Slovan have really not shown anything of note at the top level of European football. I'm all for including teams from different nations, but their opening three games have really shown that this tournament is a step too far. On the other hand, Zagreb have turned in some great performances and have shown an ability to compete at the Champions League level. So it's not really going to shock anyone to see me backing the away side for a full stake in the opening bet of the episode. Sticking with the Champions League, our second selection sees 16th place Feyenoord hosting 34th place RB Salzburg. And Feyenoord, they picked up their second win of the campaign against Benfica in their last match. The Dutch side were two goals ahead at the break before Arta Koglu gave the Eagles some hope. However, the game was sealed late on as Milambo scored his second of the match in the 93rd minute to end the contest. This result does mean that it is back-to-back -back wins for the Dutch side as they look to secure at least a playoff berth in this inaugural league stage of the Champions League. They play a Salzburg side who themselves are coming off that 2-0 loss to Dinamo Zagreb. The flow of the game was absolutely disrupted as Salzburg managed to get their goalkeeper sent off in the early stages of the second half. From there, the result was never really in doubt and Zagreb made their man advantage count. In terms of away form, Salzburg have lost all three Champions League games this season, all without scoring a goal. Worrying times indeed for the Austrian side, however, there is a ray of hope as Salzburg do average 12 efforts on goal and an average XG of 1.32. So they are creating chances there and perhaps the data will bear out as the competition progresses. In terms of head-to-head -head form, there's no recent competitive meeting between the two sides, but they have clashed in pre-seasons gone by. Both Feyenoord and Salzburg picked up wins in the 2022 and 2019 pre-seasons respectively. My prediction for this game is that I was leaning towards Feyenoord, but after taking a look at some of Salzburg's underlying numbers in the opening three games, I do think they have a chance to get on the scoreboard here, and this has caused me to pivot from Feyenoord to win to over two and a half goals. Feyenoord have seen over two and a half goals in all three of their Champions League games so far, at an average of 4.33 goals per game. The away side, they've seen two of their three games in the Champions League with at least three goals scored. The 2-0 loss to Zagreb being the only spanner in the works, but I think this is more down to the red card than the lack of goal scoring opportunities. So with all that in mind, I'm going to be backing over 2.5 goals for a full stake in bet number 2. Moving across to the Thursday nights now, in the Europa League we have 5th place Galatasaray playing host to 2nd place Tottenham Hotspurs. And Galatasaray picked up a win in their last game in dramatic fashion against Elfsburg. Icardi, Budak Yilmaz and an own goal had the Turks running away with things as they took a 3-0 lead into the interval. However, some moments of complacency saw Gala punished as Elfsburg scored twice around the hour mark to bring the scores up to three goals to two. However, in the 83rd minute, Atkins' strike did kill off the game, which all meant when Elfsburg scored a consolation goal in stoppage time, it really did not matter. It was a really fun game to watch with a lot of goal mouth action for the neutrals to sink their teeth into. 
In terms of form, that result did mean that Galatasaray maintained their unbeaten record in the opening three games. Wins against Elfsberg and Palk, sandwiching the 2-2 draw with RFS. They play a Spurs side who won narrowly against AZ Alkmaar. Just a 1-0 win thanks to Richarlison's penalty. However, the manner of the win does portray Spurs' domination in the game. At the end of the day, a win's a win, and Postacoglu will be happy with his side's perfect start to the campaign. In terms of head-to-head -head record, there's nothing to mention, so straight on to the prediction. My prediction is that both sides have started off the campaign in great form, and they're two of the stronger sides in the contest. It is really difficult to pick a winner, and with Spurs playing Man City in the Cup and then Aston Villa in the league, I really struggle to guess the result here. So, I'm going to go for goals. Galatasaray have seen over two and a half goals in all three Europa League games, and they're currently averaging five goals per game across this sample. Tottenham Hotspurs, they've seen over two and a half goals in two of their three games. Additionally, their average XG in the Europa League has been 2.81. With all of this in mind, I'm going to be backing over two and a half goals for a full stake in bet number three. Our fourth pick for today's episode sees us stay in the Europa League as 21st place Manchester United play host to 30th place Pauk. And Manchester United, they drew their previous Europa League game 1-1 against Fenerbahce. The Red Devils failed to build on an early Ericsson lead. They were caught cold just after the half-time break as N. Nassiri scored the leveller. To their credit, this did seem to wake up Manchester United as they did take the initiative for the rest of the game, but they were ultimately unable to find a second goal, the game finishing 1-1. This result does mean that Manchester United have a quite strange record of played three and drawn three in the Europa League, a record that they share with Victoria Pilsen. They play a Pauk side who drew their last match against the aforementioned Pilsen. The Greeks were down 2-0 and looking like they were facing a third consecutive defeat in the competition before Dewa was sent off for the Czech side in the 70th minute. This sending off really did turn the tide as Pauk netted twice to rescue a draw. This result does mean that Pauk have earned their first point of the campaign and they now face the daunting task of travelling away to Old Trafford in search of more points. My prediction for this game is that Ten Hag was really holding Manchester United back. Some of his decisions were odds both in the team selection and the substitutions on the continent. And recent comments of, and recent comments about the positivity of draws against Porto and Fenerbahce really showed Manchester United fans where his mentality was when it came to the European competitions. And if he was still in the dugout for this game, I would be staying well away. We, instead, we have Ruud van Nistelrooy taking charge and he has a bit more of a reputation for being less cautious in his approach and allowing the players to play that free-flowing attacking football. And I think we're looking at a fairly comfortable Manchester United win. I'm going to be backing the home side for a full stake in bet number four. And last but not least, we have 31st RFS playing host to third place Anderlecht. And RFS, they performed pretty well in their last game against Frankfurt. They did lose, but only one goal to nil. Okay, the loss isn't amazing, but there are a lot of people tipping the Latvians to lose by a cricket score. A 1-0 defeat against one of the stronger sides in the competition is nothing to be sniffed at. This result does mean that RFS are winless through their opening three games, though. The only point they have was the well-earned 2-2 draw against Galatasaray, which, to be honest, is a pretty decent result as well. They host an Anderlecht side who had very little trouble in their 2-0 win against Ludogorets of Bulgaria. Vidal was sent off for violent conduct after 30 minutes, which meant it was really Anderlecht's game to lose. They did not disappoint as they scored twice in the second half to pick up three points. This result does mean that Anderlecht are sitting on a perfect record of played three and won three, and they'll view this game as another winnable fixture to make it four out of four. My prediction for this game is that Anderlecht will go on to win this match and maintain that perfect record. RFS have put in some decent performances so far, but ultimately have been found wanting in the final third. In terms of statistics, RFS are giving up an average of 18 shots per game, with opponents creating around 2.00 XG per 90. You might be braver than me and back the away side for a full stake, but I've personally not seen Anderlecht play this season, so I'm going to exercise a little bit of caution here, still backing them to win the game, but only for a half stake in the final bet of today's episode. So there we have it, five picks in today's episode, starting off on the Tuesday night with Slovan hosting Dinamo Zagreb. We're going to be back in the away side at odds of 1.83, a £40 stake to return £33.33. And 33 pence. Also in the Champions League on the Wednesday night, we have Feyenoord hosting Salzburg. I'm going to be backing over two and a half goals, odds of 1.5, a £40 stake to return 20. The next three picks are on the Thursday night, starting off in the Europa League, Galatasaray and Spurs. Again, we're taking over two and a half goals. And I'm expecting the odds to come out about 1.5, 
a £40 stake to return 20 Also in the Europa League, Manchester United versus Palk. I think Manchester United will be valued about 2-5 to five or 1.4, a £40 stake to return 16 in kind. And wrapping things up, we're going to be back in the away side under legs to pick up a result in Latvia. Odds of about 1.75, a half stake of £20 to return £15. So across the midweek, we're going to be risking £180 to hopefully pick up as much as £104 and 33 pence. Will we do so? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to tune to the next episode. But if you have made it to this point in the video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content. And as always, have yourself a lovely day.